key points of work I, I personally need to work on. I mean, this definitely wasn't my best showcase, but uh, I learned a lot from Coach Hartline as far as like break point, catch point, little things like that. But I, I loved it here. I, I genuinely here, loved right? it here. Oh yeah, for sure, and, for sure. What is the feedback from him on those? You know, because as you said, it may be a little bit of a struggle early. Uh -huh. but what is what is the feedback? From him? He just told me to keep making deposits. You know, I'm still young. I still have two more years left to develop before I get. I still have a lot of development left, so he was really just telling me to uh, keep working, keep perfecting my craft, and uh, just the, even the little things he told me, he told me to uh, keep focusing on those and uh, keep grinding, and yeah, just keep working. That's that's really you said what you he did, was explaining to me. You said you did the tour earlier uh -huh. today. What was the takeaway for you about Ohio State as a school coming from Austin area? Obviously, you used to a good campus, but what do you think of Ohio State? It's legendary. I mean, you can't buy this experience anywhere. I mean. Um, you know, you hear about it on the news, you hear about it in the media and stuff like that, but actually getting a chance to see it in person and uh, just get a feel for it yourself, it's, it's surreal, and I'm just really enjoying this process, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else today, so, yes, sir. Did you have a chance to sit down with, with Coach Day at the, the end? And oh, yeah. Get to know him a little bit? What's, oh, yeah. What's your family's take away with him? Oh, definitely. Uh, you know, it's just me and my dad here today, but uh, just knowing my mother, I know my mother really would have liked him as a coach. I mean, uh, he hasn't been uh, the head coach here a long time, but there's a lot of things I know I can learn from him and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, he's he's a real family-oriented person. I can I can see that uh, he really uh, focused on development, and I feel like as a receiver, uh, he's really focused on that aspect as well. So he's definitely a very great, great place to be. When I was down there a few weeks ago, we were talking about the city, and you said you heard Columbus and Austin were similar. Do you feel oh yeah. That? Oh yeah. Definitely similar. I mean, coming down here, I thought it was going to be freezing cold and stuff. But, I mean, it's the summer as well. But, but like, even in the nighttime, it wasn't that cold and stuff like that. So, the climate's pretty similar. Um, well, even just walking. Always. Yeah, yeah, not always. I know in the winter it gets pretty cold. I know it snows and stuff like that. But um, just uh, being down here, I can definitely see the similarities. Yeah, it's definitely, like, awesome. Yeah, college town. Exactly. What do you have left to do here? I mean, when are you taking off? And what's left on the agenda? So, we're leaving tomorrow morning. Uh, we may just drive around. Uh, catch a few places later on today but uh, yeah nothing on the agenda yet but uh yeah that's pretty much it we leave tomorrow morning like 5 54 in the morning so yeah yes sir yes sir how much does uh caleb burton talk to you about coming here to ohio state <laughs> every day every day i mean he's still trying to recruit me to lake travis but uh i decided to stay lower to Dell valley but um you know our season got cut short uh he got injured so we really hadn't got a chance to play together and he's really like bugging me about man we can be that duo in college and stuff like that you know me you and Quinn and all that different stuff but yeah he's he's bugging me a lot obviously you know Garrett and Jack Smith and Jigbar are both Texas guys too just mm -hmm. seeing what they're doing here increase your interest in Ohio State oh definitely definitely and not even just them like looking at Julian Fleming and uh, all of the uh, younger guys even looking at Marvin Harrison in the spring game I can see their development from high school you know I like to watch, uh, watch a lot of high school film especially uh, to the schools that are high on my list right now and uh, I like to see how, from the spring game, how they developed uh, coming out of high school. And I can definitely see the, the little early development, the early deposits they're already making. So, yeah, it's, it's really key. And I'm really looking forward to that. So. You mentioned those names. Obviously, there's a lot of competition at wide receiver here. Oh, yeah. Is that something you embrace? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, um, you know, uh, they say Ohio State's like the land of the five-star receiver, you know what I'm saying? From Kayla to uh, Julian Fleming to Omega, you know, all those guys coming here, there's a reason they come here, and it's uh, to compete with the best guys in the receiver room. At the end of the day, when these guys leave, um, they're probably going to be the most developed uh, receiver, like, probably in the whole entire nation, you know what I'm saying? Just look at uh, Olave. He decided to stay so he could be the number one wide receiver, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's something I didn't know until today. So just like even hearing that, they, they really like to compete and they really like to get after it. And I know uh, being here can really make me better. So, What do you think you do that's special that could, if you chose to come here, bring something different to this room? Um, honestly, I mean, I, f I feel like I'm just a, a, a all-around athlete. I feel like uh, compared to most of the guys in my class, a lot of, there's a, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of athletes in this uh, 23 class, but I feel like, uh, I'm really, really athletic. I feel like uh, anything you need me to do, I'll be able to do it. And uh, I feel like that's something I can bring to the table. So, yes, sir. You mentioned Quinn. Obviously, Ohio mm -hmm. State has produced a couple quarterbacks here back to back. They've got a, a few guys now. How much does the quarterback that you play with impact and, and what Ohio State's producing right now? A impact? huge impact. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't really care who it is, but I mean, you definitely want to be with the guy who can get you the ball. I mean, the quarterback uh, is just as good as the receivers and vice versa. So, you know what I'm saying? So, if I can get a, a stuck quarterback and uh, 
play with him. Hopefully they can get another good QB in the 23 class or 24 class. That'll be that'll be huge. Where else have you been so far this month? And kind of has anybody stood out? I've been to uh, Stanford, USC, Cal, and TCU. Um, honestly, uh, the schools, the two schools that stood out to me the most were uh, TCU and Stanford. I mean, uh, Stanford really showed a lot of interest. I mean. I see how they could develop me. They have a real complex offense, and I feel like as far as like NFL-wise goes, uh, their offense is kind of similar to an NFL-style offense, and that was uh, something really cool I took away. And TCU, um, the receiver development is pretty well, too. Uh, coach Kelly, the receiver coach up there, he's a great guy. He uh, he played a couple years in the NFL, uh, one of the top guys coming out of his uh, high school uh, graduating class, so there was a lot of things I could learn from him, too. But yeah, those two really stood out a lot to me. How does Ohio State compare to what you saw at those schools? Um, it's legendary, like I said uh, before. I mean, just seeing them a, a receiver room coach art line, uh, I took in a lot today. And actually being able to get on the field with him, uh, get a feel for how he coached live, that was that was something huge. So yeah, definitely a huge impression. And I'd love to hear. What's it like camping on this field oh, in the stadium? Huge. I mean, uh, from my understanding, I heard this was the first camp they had in the stadium. So. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I'm uh, looking forward to it. Maybe one day I could be in Faz in here, so, yeah, you never know. I loved it. That loved it. For sure. You mentioned that Coach Day hasn't had a ton of time as a head coach here, but you seem to know him pretty well, at mm -hmm. least what he's done. What stood out to you about him when you actually got to talk to him? Um, honestly, just the way he communicated. I felt like he was really trying to get a feel for me as a person and rather than me as an athlete, and uh, that's something huge, especially in the game of college, you know. There's a lot of turnarounds, especially nowadays. A lot of people like to enter the transfer portal, so it feels like he's trying to build a genuine relationship with the recruits he's bringing in so he can get a feel for these athletes before they step on campus and stuff like that. So that's definitely huge. I feel like he's a uh, he's big on relationships and he's big on uh, actually knowing the guys he's bringing into the uh, program. So. Do you have like a timeline of when you want to start to narrow down your top schools and when you want to make a decision? Probably around this time of next year. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely probably around this time of next year. Um, I want to probably have a top three, top four. And, uh, right now, I have no clue. You know, it's still pretty new. It's still mid, uh, late June, actually. But um, yeah, yeah, definitely this time around. You think, sure. you think you'll be back here for a game in the fall? For sure. For sure. Um, yeah, this is definitely going to be a key spot. I probably want to try and get back here uh, next week on the 31st before the dead period is, or whatever that is. I don't know if it's 31st or something like that. But if I can get back on campus, uh, me and a couple other recruits I know want to come up here, like Carnell Tate and stuff like that. If I can get him back up here and uh, just get a feel for how he feels up and stuff like that too, that'd be pretty cool. So, how much do you talk to guys like Carnell about potentially playing together at the next level? All the time, all the time. I mean, uh, we have a group chat. I know, like all the receivers, Jonte Cook, Jalen Hill. Uh, you know, I I really don't talk to Ennis like that anymore. We used to be pretty cool, like back in the ninth grade. But I know we used to talk about playing together a little bit. But uh, we always talk about uh, uh, teaming up and potentially being a, a threat on the field. So so you yeah. want to be part of a class with two or three other top Raiders Oh, yeah, seniors. definitely. If I can get two, it, just me and someone else, somebody I can really connect with, and uh, yeah, that'll be pretty cool. I mean, uh, competition, uh, friendship, all that stuff. So, What are the most important factors for you in ultimately deciding on a school or deciding on narrowing down your recruitment? Relationship development, education. I mean, uh, the reason I said edu uh, education is because uh, you know, um, a lot of people don't think I'm big on academics, but that's something I really take a lot of pride in. Uh, at the end of the day, football is going to end at some point, and I want to be able to make a 40-year decision, not a four to five-year decision. And um, uh, I really want to have a degree or something to fall back on because you never know. You could get injured, or even just when you retire football, you could have the greatest career, but what happens when football ends, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, education is huge. Uh, like I said, development. Uh, I mean, my all-time goal is to get to the NFL. and. Uh, uh, I want to be at the uh, best place I can be developed at, I feel personally, and uh, just relationships. I want to be able to have a real honest relationship with my coaches, my uh, strength coaches, my position coaches, all that stuff. So it's huge.